If you've driven by Toronto Pearson Airport, you've no doubt seen this huge plane at the edge of the property. But after being parked here for more than a year, it could finally be on the move. It was on February 27, 2022, when this Russian-registered Antonov 124 touched down at Pearson. It was bringing a shipment of COVID-19 tests. But hours after it arrived, Canada's transport minister ordered Canadian airspace closed to all Russian aircraft in response to the invasion of Ukraine. Ever since then, it has sat empty near Highway 427. Fast forward to earlier in April, when Ukrainian Prime Minister Denis Shmahal visited Canada as the federal government announced new sanctions, including ones against Volga Dnepr, the owners of the cargo airplane at Pearson. In a Facebook post on Sunday after wrapping his trip, Shmahal said preparations to seize the airplane and other assets are underway and that it could be transferred to assist Ukraine. City News contacted the federal government to ask what's happening. In a statement, a spokesperson with Global Affairs Canada wouldn't confirm plans, adding they don't comment on potential asset seizures. However, they said the department is working with the RCMP and other government departments to explore the forfeiture and seizure of assets. After being here so long, this plane has racked up a lot of parking fees. The Greater Toronto Airports Authority charges this class of aircraft $1,108 a day to sit idle on the apron. To date, that works out to roughly $460,000. However, it's not clear how or if those fees will ever be paid if the Canadian government seizes this airplane. At Toronto Pearson International Airport, Nick Westall, City News.